Alrighty, my super learners, we are jumping right into our um, butterfly research project. Today we're gonna read a story called From Butter <laughs> Take Two <laughs> From Caterpillar to Butterfly. And this is by Deborah uh, Heiligman, and it's illustrated by Barry Weissman. I just got so excited about butterfly. I just wanted to say that before caterpillar. <laughs> From Caterpillar to Butterfly. Today, a caterpillar came to school in a jar. It is eating green leaves. It is climbing and wiggling. This tiny caterpillar is going to change. It will change into a beautiful butterfly. Tiny little caterpillar right here. Caterpillars usually turn into butterflies outdoors. They live in gardens and meadows and yards. But we will watch our caterpillar change into a butterfly right here in our classroom, or in our case, our virtual classroom. This change is called metamorphosis. That's a really big word, so we're gonna break it down. Repeat after me, meta, Morph, assess. Good, now we're gonna put it all together. Metamorphosis. And metamorphosis is a really big word for change. Okay. Our caterpillar started out as a tiny egg. The mother butterfly laid the egg on a leaf. A butterfly, is an insect. There are like little blurbs, little factoids in here. So I'll read those too. The egg is tiny. It's the size of a pinhead. Um, so when we talked about our word families, when we talked about a pin, like a safety pin, um, or like a pin used for sewing, it's the top of a sewing pin. It is super small. When the caterpillar hatched out of the egg, it was hungry. It ate its way out of its own eggshell. Then it started to eat green plants right away. The mother butterfly lays her eggs on plants that the caterpillar will eat. These are called host plants. So mama butterflies knew exactly what they were doing when they laid them on the leaves. A caterpillar's job is to eat and eat and eat. So it will grow and grow and grow. The caterpillar is also car called the larva. That'll be important, the larva, say larva. Sorry, that's over here behind this little um, clickable box clickable point. <laughs> Each day when we come into school, we look at our caterpillar. Each day it is bigger. And this student over here is saying, is it bigger? The caterpillar eats and grows for 12 to 14 days. That's about two weeks. So if we're look at, looking at the calendar, that'll be like from Monday to Sunday, and then Monday to Sunday again. Our skin grows with us, but a caterpillar's skin does not grow. When the caterpillar gets too big for its skin, the skin splits down the back. The caterpillar crawls right out of its own skin but it has skin, new skin underneath. This is called molting, say molting. Yep, uh, there is an animal actually um, that does this kind of similar process that I can think of. I'll give you a clue. It was in the Garden of Eden. No arms, no legs, crawls around on its belly. Yep, snakes also shed their skin and birds molt their feathers as well. 
um, but for a caterpillar, or this caterpillar, our caterpillar, will molt four or five times. And you can kind of see right here, it's starting to open up and the little caterpillar is coming out. And you can see the old part is coming off and he's got new skin underneath. It's pretty cool. I'll have to see if I can find a video. After many days, our caterpillar is finished growing. It is much bigger than when it first came to school. It is almost as big as my little finger now, so like a pinky finger, this one. It's getting pretty big. Our caterpillar is making a special house. First, it makes a button of silk. So silk is like a material, um, like sometimes nightgowns are made out of silk or sheets um, and other things. Um, it uses this button to hang upside down from a twig. Then it molts for the last time. That's when they get rid of their skin. But instead of new skin, this time there is a hard shell. This shell is called a chrysalis. Say chrysalis. Yep. Um, you know the chrysalis as a cocoon, most likely. But we're going to be using the word chrysalis because that's part of our vocabulary. Our caterpillar will stay inside the chrysalis for a long time. So you'll see the button of silk is up here and the chrysalis is starting to form. And it's kind of like a big old blanket that they wrap themselves up in and they stay there. The chrysalis is also called the pupa. So, so far we know that the, the caterpillar is the larva, say larva, mm -hmm. caterpillar is the larva, and the chrysalis is called the pupa, say pupa. I know, it's a super funny word, pupa. <laughs> Every day, the chrysalis looks the same. We can't see anything happening. But inside the chrysalis, our caterpillar is changing. The caterpillar stays in the chrysalis about one week. So it sounds like from when it was hatched from the egg and it's eating, 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 it takes about 12 to 14 days for it to make the chrysalis. So then you've got another week inside the chrysalis. So we're up to like three weeks for a caterpillar so far. Will our caterpillar ever turn into a butterfly? Will it ever come out of its chrysalis? Oh, we can hardly wait, but we do. We wait and wait and wait. And sometimes waiting is the hardest part. Then one day during snack time, somebody shouts, look, and we all rush over to see. The chrysalis is crackling, cracking, excuse me. We see a head, a body, and then wings. It's a butterfly. Oh, and it's gonna be so pretty, I'm so excited. The tiny caterpillar who came to school in a jar turned into a painted lady butterfly, and we saw it happen. So a painted lady is like a type of butterfly. There are different types of butterflies like monarch, painted lady, um, and others. Just like there are different types of dogs like um, German Shepherd, um, Dachshund, different names for dog breeds, types of dogs. Our butterfly is damp and crumpled. That means it's kind of a little bit wet and like kind of squished together. It hangs on to the chrysalis while its wings flap, flap, flap. Blood pumps into its wings. The wings straighten out and dry. Soon, our butterfly will be ready to fly. In two hours, the wings are dry and the butterfly is ready to fly. Wow. 
our butterfly cannot stay in the jar. It needs to be outside with flowers and grass and trees and other butterflies. It is a warm spring day. I put my finger into the jar. The butterfly sits on my finger. I pull it out and our butterfly goes free. We feel a little sad and a little happy. We watch our butterfly land on a flower. It will sip the flower's nectar, that's the sweet juice from flowers, through a long coiled tube called a proboscis. Say proboscis. Yeah, it's kind of like a straw. Um, and that's how they get the, um, that's how they get the nectar from the flowers. Maybe it is a female butterfly. Do you remember what female means? Yep, girl butterfly. Maybe someday she will lay an egg on a leaf. I know just what will happen then. That egg will hatch into a caterpillar and that caterpillar will turn into a beautiful butterfly. Painted lady butterflies sip nectar from certain flowers. They like thistle, burdock, zinnia, butterfly bush, and mint. Like there's a lot of mint in like toothpaste. They like mint plants. How many different kinds of butterflies can you find around your neighborhood? Here are some common ones to look for. So like I said, um, we have the monarch butterfly. It's found in most areas of the United States. And then of course we talked about our painted lady. That's what this one looks like. And if you look, I, to I, bleh, bleh, I spoke about this yesterday. I talked to you about it. Um, if you were to open this butterfly up, you'll see that the wings are exactly the same on both sides. Let me see if there's a better picture. Yep, right here. They are exactly the same on both sides of the wings. <coughs> Excuse me. So we have our monarch butterfly. They're usually like a beautiful yellowish, orangish color um, with really pretty patterns. Um, and like I said, they're found in most areas of the United States. We have the black swallowtail. They're found in all areas, but the very far west. And if you look, it has the caterpillars too, what they look like before they transform or change that metamorphosis into butterflies. There is a cabbage white butterfly that's found throughout the United States. Dog face butterfly that's interesting i bet it has a face or this part right here might look like a dog interesting uh, and they are found throughout the south and they migrate through the midwest to the northeast in canada we talked about migrating with um animals back uh in our four seasons research project and um, we talked about how animals and insects migrate or move from one place to another depending on the weather. Um, we have the common blue, and they are found in western part of the United States. So over like California, uh, Nevada, all places over there. And then the buckeye, found in most areas of the United States except for the Pacific Northwest. That's what that one looks like. They're all really pretty though, and they've all got different beautiful colors. And there are, if you are ready to go for an adventure, there are some places to go um, visit for like a vacation with some butterflies. Um, so that's it for our butterflies. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed and um, I can't wait to keep learning about butterflies with you. Toodaloo.